Hey folks, uh, one last video here on signal tracers. Uh, these are some of the prototypes that I built. Uh, there's others as well. I've kind of junked those for uh, parts and pieces, so the, they're not worth showing. But you can see where I started out here with a, a different um, layout and uh, just a single probe. And the diode itself resides on the board, and then I transitioned over to uh, leaving the diode on the board. But, um, you know, created some shielding around the uh, probe itself uh, just to compare the results and then I ended up transitioning over to uh, what, three or four maybe five builds with the uh, diode inside the uh, brass tubing up in this area. I also played around with uh, some JFATs as well and uh, this is one of the designs here and I was looking to see how small I could make this. This has got a, a less than a one inch speaker you can see and I've got the uh, gain control mounted uh, external. It's attached to the board but uh, you can see how tight that is. Um, it's still a useful device but uh, definitely doesn't have the uh, sensitivity of my uh, later revisions. Here's one I thought I would uh, show and demonstrate. This is a lighter version that you may want to consider building. You can reference that same schematic that I used for the signal tracer build, but the only thing that I'm really using here in this particular build is the uh, 741 op amp itself using it as a buffer amp and you can see I've got a uh, A23 or 23A battery holder right here. I've got a small LED light on here as well. I think I've got it uh, designed for about 2 milliamps of current and I have that uh, typical uh, gain control uh, over here as well. And it's made to work off of uh, headphones or earbuds so um, and it does uh, work really really well uh, the disadvantage for me and probably lots of folks out there I don't like that clicking noise or take a chance of doing some ear damage you know plugging this thing in so um, I just use it uh, sparingly here and I always remember to keep the uh, volume down at its lowest point and then uh, bring it up but uh, I thought I would demo this one real quick and uh, just use my old uh, Logitech speakers here. I'll plug this in and uh, I'll let you guys listen in on it. Alright, let's get the uh, unit uh, turned on here. There's that uh, little LED I was referencing. And uh, you can see the uh, simple layout. Alright, let's uh, see what we can get here. I'm going to just go over to the high side of the volume control. So it just kind of shows you the uh, usefulness of it. Um, here's an RF location right here. Let's listen in on this location. So anyway, I thought I would uh, show this real quick. Um, I doubt I actually build any more of these. I only built uh, one in this form factor uh, just to see what the capabilities would be. Uh, but it's something I would definitely uh, throw in my uh, tool pouch. And uh, if I'm out on a road trip and uh, someone needs a uh, radio looked at, uh, this would be useful to have in the old, uh, like I said, the old tool pouch uh, just with some earbuds. So, uh, folks, again, thanks for uh, watching the series on uh, signal tracers. It's uh, been a lot of fun building these. And as I mentioned um, earlier, I learned a lot along the way. You guys take care.
Love one another.